So launch any web browser of your choice, and simply type and search for, Sidestore.io, or I will leave the link in description. Once you are on the official website of Sidestore, click on Get Started. Sidestore is available to download for both Windows and Mac computers, which you can access from here, but in my case, I will opt for the Windows version. And to get started, you will need an iOS device, must be at least iOS 16, a Windows computer with at least Windows 10, an Apple ID, Stowe's VPN app, and a Wi-Fi connection. Now if you meet all these requirements, then let's move forward and download necessary files and programs. Download all these files like Alt Server, Sidestore IPA, iDevice Pair, and also download iTunes and iCloud into your computer. Once all the required files are downloaded, launch the File Manager app and navigate to the Download folder. Here, you will get the Alt Server zip file. Simply extract the zip file, as shown on the video. Next, let's install these downloaded programs. First install the iTunes program, but make sure that you have uninstalled any previous iTunes, which is already in your computer. And if you have iTunes from Microsoft Store, then uninstall it right away. Once installed, it's not required to launch the program. Next, install iCloud the same way. And it's totally optional to sign in to iTunes or iCloud. Once iCloud is installed, it's mandatory to reboot your computer. After the computer boots up, if you will get this iCloud login pop-up, like this. Just close the program. As it's totally up to you whether you wish to login or not. Now launch the Files Manager app and navigate to the Download folder. Navigate into the Alt Server folder, as shown here. And now simply install the Alt Server file. Do the usual setup, like any other program. Once installed, navigate to the search field on the taskbar and search for Alt Server. Simply launch Alt Server. Please note that Alt Server do not have any graphical interface. Simply hover the pointer of your mouse here on the taskbar, as shown. Click on this arrow up icon. And you will notice this diamond-shaped icon, as shown here. Now, if you click on this icon, you will find the option to install Alt Store instead. But if you hold the Shift key, and then click on the diamond-shaped icon, you will get this Side Load IPA option. Now simply connect your iOS device to the computer, and Alt Server should be able to recognize your iOS device. Click on your device, which will open the File Manager app. Finally let's side load the Sidestore app into iOS device. Navigate to the download folder, and here locate the Sidestore IPA file, and click on the file. Enter your Apple ID and password, and click on install. This is required to sign and side load IPA file into your iOS device. Please allow some time, as it may take a while to have the Sidestore installed. As you can see, Sidestore app is successfully installed into my iOS device. Once installed, launch the Settings app and navigate to General, Into, VPN and Device Management. And simply trust the certificate as shown here. But do make sure that you do not have any DNS installed, or simply set it to automatic. You can now trust the certificate, without any issues. Next, go back and launch the Sidestore app. Grant all the permissions as shown here, including notification permissions. You will find that Sidestore is asking for a pairing file. This pairing file is required to remove the dependency on computer after the initial setup. So you only require computer, only once. So to generate a pairing file, launch the file manager, and head over to the download folder. Here you will find the iDevice pair exe file. Simply install the same. If you get this pop-up, just click on more info, and then click on run anyway. And make sure to allow permissions, whenever asked by the iDevice pair. This is how the tool looks like. Make sure that your iOS device is connected to the computer, using a cable, is unlocked, and the screen is on. And your device should be recognized by iDevice Pair, as shown here. But as you can see, it says my device is locked. To resolve it, just unlock the iOS device, and then disconnect, and reconnect your iOS device to the computer. And it should resolve the issue. As you can see, all the text is in green color, indicating there is no error. But if shows that you need developer's mode, up then you can watch this video, link will be in description. Finally click on generate option. And immediately, you will get this pop-up on your iOS device, simply tap on trust. And the pairing file will be generated successfully. Also if you notice or left side of the window, you can see Sidestore's name appearing, as iDevice pair recognizes apps, which requires pairing file to run. All you need to do, is just tap on install, and the pairing file will automatically be imported into Sidestore. Similarly, if you have other apps installed in your iOS device, 
for example Stick2Bug, which requires pairing file to run, you can find those apps mentioned here on iDevice Pair, simply click on install and the pairing file will be imported, with a success message. Now we do not require a computer, as what's left is SideStore setup in our iOS device. Now launch SideStore app, and navigate to the settings section of SideStore. Next, simply sign in with your Apple ID and password. And you can safely use your main Apple account, without any issues. If two-factor authentication is turned on, you need additionally need to provide one-time code to login. If you ever get a pop-up like this, my suggestion is that you choose yes. Once logged in successfully, it's mandatory to refresh SideStore. Now to refresh SideStore, we will need an app called Stows VPN. Head over to App Store and search for Stows VPN app and install it into your device. Next, launch the app, do the usual setup, and finally enable the VPN. Once enabled, go back to SideStore and proceed to refresh the SideStore app. And if you get a pop-up like this, simply select Remove App Extension. And as you can see, the refreshing process of SideStore has begun. And in just few seconds, the SideStore app will be refreshed successfully. Next, let me demonstrate how to sign and sideload any IPA file using SideStore. So whenever you sideload any IPA, make sure Stow's VPN is enabled and running. So launch SideStore now, navigate to the My App section, and tap on this plus icon here. Now locate any IPA file of your choice, which you wish to install. In my case, I will sideload the INDS app. And as you can see, the app is being signed, which you can track from this progression bar here. If you are finding my video helpful, please do subscribe my channel, and hype this video. As you can see, the target app is sideloaded successfully, and launching the app confirms that it's working fine, without any issues. Using the similar method, I will sideload another app, called LiveContainer. And after sideloading your desired app, you can switch off the Stow's VPN. But, there's some limitations to SideStore. Like it allows sideloading of only three apps, like you see here, upon sideloading of the fourth app, SideStore prevents from sideloading it, unless you deactivate any sideloaded app. Another limitations of SideStore, is its 7 days expiry date. As you can see, next to each app, you can find the number of days it got, before it expires, and no longer usable. And this is how it looks like when the app expires. But to prevent apps from getting expired, you need to refresh these apps. First make sure, Stow's VPN is enabled and running. And then go to Side Store into App section, and just tap on Refresh All option. Now just sit back and relax, and let Side Store do the thing. And in just few seconds, all apps including Side Store, will be refreshed successfully, and the expiration days is reset to 7 days again. So things to keep in mind. Always turn on Wi-Fi and Stow's VPN when sideloading or refreshing apps. Make sure to refresh apps before it expires. Do not use any DNS. But if you want to automate the entire refreshing process, watch my next video and do subscribe to my channel.